I love traveling. I love these moments. It just makes me fall in love with living life. Zoeli, really nice to meet my other friend. <laughs> Zoeli, we just met in a cab and now yes. we're gonna go grab some coffee. Of course. Yeah. Thanks for the ride again. Of course. Oh, I'm so excited. crazy but more space this is the view from my room the airport fit it's been quite a day 24 hour travel but i made it Woo! <laughs> so this is all that i brought for my seven day trip to france i'm so proud of myself because i was this close this close to bringing a whole suitcase but i am here with just a carry-on and a backpack yeah baby i am trying to minimize how much i pack my boyfriend told me that i pack too much so here we are <sighs> i am here finally after 24 hours feels good it's time to now get settled <laughs> Trees, my toothbrush, my toothpaste, and my floss. I love traveling so much. I just had the most beautiful experience. I was at the airport and I was trying to catch an Uber when this girl asked if she wanted to split a cab. I had already called my Uber, so I told her to hop in mine. We drove to my destination, which was close by hers, and she asked to split it, and I told her it was fine, I had it. Then she was like, okay, well, obviously I have to take you out for a drink to thank you. So we went to this little mom and pop bar, and I got a ginger beer and she got a little glass of wine and some cake for me. And we just sat and chatted and talked about life and love and passions and work. And it was just such a beautiful moment of meeting a perfect stranger and just being reminded of how beautiful humans are. I love traveling. I love these moments. It just makes me fall in love with living life. I am supposed to be asleep right now, but clearly jet lag. So I'm gonna start winding down and I am excited for tomorrow. I am going to explore the city a little bit. I am in the city of Nantes. I just learned that it's Nantes and not Nantes. Clearly my Spanish is not going to help me here in France. So wishing myself luck tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> from France. <laughs> it is a rainy day today in France, which 
kind of puts a damper on my plans. I was planning on walking a lot today. I probably am still gonna walk, but I'm literally going to be damp. So um, we'll see how it goes. I have a hat, I have a jacket. I did not bring an umbrella. So, you know, we're just gonna find a way to stay dry um, when I get to my destinations. But I made this whole itinerary last night. I couldn't sleep. I really tried to like sleep according to France time, but I did not go to sleep until like 6 a.m. here, which is like 10 p.m. my time, which makes sense. But when my alarm went off at 9 a.m., I hit snooze and snooze and snooze. So it's currently 11 a.m. Finally got out of bed, showered, I'm ready to go. And we're just gonna see how the day goes. I love having a loose itinerary and then just playing it by ear. And, um, and then a little palace chateau that I could visit to. A few spots on the itinerary for today that I'm excited about. I'll bring you along and share my journey. This is the fit of the day. This chunky sweater. I've got a tank under here for extra layers, some jeans, and my Nikes. I've got my hat and my pea coat. I'm ready for the weather. Let's do this. <laughs> I'll bundle it. Let's go. I found an umbrella! Yay! <laughs> I couldn't resist. I had to get my the first almond croissant that I saw. Ah. One thing about me is that I'll always find a bookstore. So the creperie was actually so yummy. I was only planning on getting one crepe and it was so good that I got a savory crepe and a sweet crepe. They were a bit understaffed, so the service was rushed, but it was such a cute, quaint vibe. I uh, highly recommend. Just go prepared if you don't speak French. They do speak English there, but know what you want and don't ask questions. <laughs> I am so full, and yes, my pants are unbuttoned right now, no shame. I'm gonna do a little walking around to digest this food a little bit. to have happened upon a carnival of some sort. It looks kind of fun and I kind of want to go on a ride, but also no one's going on the ride, so I don't want to go by myself. But it looks really cool. Should I 
go on it. No one is currently on it now. <laughs> but it looks really fun. But I also just ate some crepes, so probably don't want to pick them up. <laughs> the chateau was quite cute. It was quaint. <laughs> um, the castle would be generous. But uh, but it, yeah, it was nice to walk through. And I'm going to pass by the Museum of Art. And then I am doing everything in my power to stay out and about so that I don't go back to my hotel and fall asleep. Gotta fight the jet lag. We're doing this. Plus, I wanna maximize my one full day in Sun is out. I finished up at the art museum. I was starting to get a little bit tired, so I needed to get back out in the sun. It's almost four o'clock. I'm really gonna try and last and not go back to my apartment. Otherwise, I'm considering going to take a nap, but I can hear people screaming at the amusement park, so maybe that'll wake me up a little bit. All right, we'll see if I'm brave enough to get on a ride. All right, this will certainly wake me up. I have had the most adventurous, unadventurous last hour. I tried so hard to get on this ride. You can pay in card, but it has to be a debit card. Me thinking, oh, I only need a credit card everywhere. I'll leave all of my important cards in my hotel so that in case I get robbed, at least I'll have something. So I left my debit card. I don't have any cash on me and I can't get cash from an ATM. So then I tried to get these kids to pay for me in cash and then I would pay for their, their tickets on the ride. And then her card machine stopped working. So now I'm desperately trying to find six euros in cash in order to ride this ride and get my adrenaline up so I can stay awake. And it has been such a chore. <laughs> Honestly, me just going through this has increased my adrenaline and I'm awake. I'm awake, but I'm tired. And I'm awake. <laughs> and annoyed. I want to ride this ride so bad. I'm going to make it happen somehow. It's going to happen. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for the saga. Yay! I can't we're about to do this. Ah! I'm literally crying. But look at this view. It's wow. So beautiful. It's so beautiful. Hello, America. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're so high up right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm putting my phone away. Oh my gosh. That was so insane. I'm literally still shaking right now. I'm in shock that I just did that. I think I'm gonna vomit, but I think I'm okay. That definitely got my adrenaline up. I need to show you guys a video of what I just endured. This is insanity. So meanwhile, you're circling around and also flipping upside down. I can't even follow. Here we go. Here's the full view. It is insanity. <laughs> Do you hear those screams? <laughs> I truly cannot believe I just rode that thing. Uh, nothing like fighting jet lag with a roller coaster. <laughs> Insanity. I'm going home now. I was riding this ride with a few 15 year olds, but hey, here I am, 28, living my best life, letting my inner child shine.
Oh my gosh, what a day. I am exhausted in all the best ways. <laughs> that roller coaster really took me out. Oh my gosh. Let's start with the highlights. This hotel that I found on Airbnb is more like a dorm room, but they have come in so clutch. I first forgot to bring an adapter, so I was just gonna shut off my phone and go without technology for two days until I met up with my friends. But they had a drawer full of adapters and let me borrow one. Then this morning, of course, me not planning and living day by day, didn't know that it was going to be raining today. So I didn't even pack an umbrella. They also had extra umbrellas for me to borrow. So I was able to walk. The city center is like an 18 minute walk from where I am. So I was walking regardless. And thanks to this hotel, I did not get soaked. So points for them. But because it was raining, a lot of people weren't out and about even though it was a Saturday morning. So I got to enjoy a nice quiet start to the day, peruse and frolicking around the city of Nantes, doing a lot of sightseeing. I got to hit a lot of items on my itinerary just because they lined up some I didn't even realize and happened upon them which was a fun coinky dink then the food oh the creperie was so delicious and reasonably priced my overall spend for the day was on the lower side for me starting with a 225 euro croissant then 21 euros for the two crepes that I had nine euros for my ticket to the Museum of Arts and eight dollars for the roller coaster I'm gonna have to do that math later <laughs> Nine. Hey Siri, what is 21 plus three plus nine plus eight? Yes, I did just ask Siri for simple math, it's fine. It was under 50 euros. I'll probably get something for dinner tonight, around 50, 55 euros for a jam-packed day. A plus for me. I'm so glad I did not come back and take a nap. It was almost a mistake to go to the Museum of Arts. By the end of that listening tour that I did, I was falling asleep standing up after only getting like two hours of sleep last night. But I'm really glad that they did have an audio tour in English because all of the plaques were in French, but I love going to museums and learning more about the art so the free listening tour in English was excellent. We're gonna brush by the roller coaster saga and talk about the highlight. Getting my adrenaline up for the rest of the day, I have not been sleepy after that roller coaster, let me tell you that. If you're trying to fight jet lag, get on a roller coaster. Then on my way back to the hotel, I did a little perusing at the shopping center. The sunset's actually an hour later than I expected so I'm gonna go catch the sunset on the river then grab some dinner. <laughs> what an excellent spontaneous day. I couldn't be happier with how it went and I'm going to crash tonight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of looks like the White House at night. Or a haunted mansion.